Halt! We rest here for 10 minutes. We should have never followed Captain Awaki into that temple. We should have bottlenecked him from the outside. Captain Awaki had his head torn off by this monster. If it weren't for him, Strago would still have his mask on it, and we'd be in pieces strewn across the temple floor. Sergeant Avico, I think I can send a transmogram from there. Good. Contact Commodore Keitel. Tell him we have bound High Priest Strega, and we'll rendezvous with the airship Vandal by dusk. Yes, sir. At the height of the Victorian age, an asteroid crossed our orbit. It did not collide with the Earth, but with cursed luck, our planet did not miss the debris in its wake. Millions perished. However, Earth was reshaped and the skylands lifted by the strange etherite ore in the meteorites. Eventually, civilization rose again. This is the year 997, and adventure is inescapable in these dirigible days. Sorry, Jesse. I had a rough night. But I managed to find a guy who'd be able to help us out with this engine problem that left us stranded here. Hooper Jefferson! This is Josie Devereaux. She's our pilot. May take some getting used to communicating with her, though. She's mute. She's mute? Oh, you're mute! Hi, Josie! I'm Hooper! The new engineer! Oh, she's adorable, Captain. We're gonna get along just fine. Josie, be nice to our new crewmate, please. Oh, and get the brig ready. We're gonna have some unexpected guests tonight. How's it going back here? Oh, it's going good. You know, I just did some modifications to the engine, so I'll be able to squeeze about 5% more power out of those propellers. You said 5%? No, 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 I said 5%. Nice job, who? Yeah, thanks, Captain. That's really nice. Hey, don't, don't touch that. I've only been aboard this ship about a day or so, and I've already managed to rebuild our engines. I fixed the propeller windlass, and I... Fix all those holes you have in the hall. Where all those holes come from? Uh, Josie. Yeah, she's a little sensitive about it though, so just do yourself a favor and don't mention it to her. Josie did it? Yeah, I gotta see her in a second actually. I think we're gonna have to drop anchor tonight. With the Mizuna Maelstrom acting up as it is, we're not gonna get into the Acer Sphere until it calms down. Okay, but Josie we got a lot more deliveries to make. I don't want to run into a step flash if I can help it. I hate to have another delay. But you know what that means? Get! Game night, tonight, in the mess hall. Probably want to fix that hole, hoop. Don't tell Josie. Hey, Josie. Well, I just got back from engineering, and it looks like Cooper's almost finished with his modifications. You got any idea how much time he's going to shave off our ETA? What is it this time? Ah, 
blasted Aether Storm. Humble is going to be very displeased with this delay. I think we'll just tell him later. Well, you know how it is on jobs like this, Josie, no questions asked. Should have mind the two of them being locked up together like they've been. Oh, and by the way, you need to make sure that you keep your attitude in pocket this time around. I don't want any more incidents like we had yesterday morning, okay? That's exactly what I'm talking about. This inept, blackmailing Pinkerton, threatening me with that incident in Bridgetown? How the hell do you think you found out about that? Yeah, well, this whole thing is really odd. Keep your head about you on this trip, okay? So I say to her, I might only have one hand. That still means I got five fingers! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Tell me, Captain, didn't she backhand you with a five of her own after you said that to her? <laughs> Have I told you this one before already? Uh. <laughs> we both know you have. That's why I had to get a new engineer. Never mix business with pleasure. It's what I always say. Yeah, I had that. I had what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. If it isn't everybody's favorite lawman, it was your night agent for now. What's he scribbling about? <sighs> well, she wants to know if you've already finished that bottle you sneaked from us last night. She says you're a drunken fool. <laughs> Where's that schmuck? <laughs> you better calm down, little firecracker. Now, I was thinking, at least I can carry a bottle in one hand. And a glass in the other, and still carry on a conversation. <laughs> oh, Josie, sit down! What the hell's gotten into you lately? Agent Cornell! While you're aboard my boat, you'll direct all your insults to me and my hand cannon. Or was I the target of your insult? You best take that bottle and go back to the brig with your creepy friend before we have any more words of a different caliber. Captain Dunbar, that prisoner is a dangerous snake-tongued loon. It's one of them Cthulhu cultists. You heard of him? I think you have. So I can take him. My knowledge, he's not the first cultist you've had aboard this ship. That's offered. She's played you for a fool. Night, Agent Cornell. Oh, 
Alexis Khan.